<laughs> Still 15 seconds to go. <laughs> it was unbelievable. It was, yeah, it's like, it's like nothing is there. Boys and girls, my goal is 1 million subscribers by the end of the year, so please click that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to check out my second channel, linked in the description down below. So what is going on guys? Welcome back to, oh my god, the sun. That almost blinded me, but welcome back to another video. Today's a mental one, okay? Because we are going to be featuring icons. Legends of the footballing game, and maybe even legends of other sports, okay? We're talking Cafu, we're talking Puyol, Del Piero, Hullet, Figo, loads. And uh, as I said, there might be a few others uh, pottering around. We're out here for the Laureus Sports Awards. Now, if you know me, you've been subscribed to the channel for a long time, you'd know that I've come here for the last three years. This is my fourth time coming, and today, or this time rather, we are in Berlin, rather than Monaco. And just there, you see that? That is the Berlin Wall. But before we crack on with the event, we're heading off to the Union Berlin versus the Bayern Leverkusen game, which hopefully should be quite exciting. <laughs> it's the worst. We're playing it? the game where you have to vlog in front of everyone. And look, look at me now, I'm a pro. Why I'm is definitely your voice not red. Changed, mate? I'm, Why? So I'm so scared. <laughs> look at the set. So no, I'm don't put it on me. I'm put it on you. Film yourself. Okay, I'm Go having on. to use my G7X because my camera microphone broke. If you want to listen to how it sounds, I'll play the clip now. We've arrived at the game 45 minutes before kickoff and it's already packed. People are singing their heads off. Complete opposite of the UK when no one's in the stadium 45 minutes before kickoff. We've got yeah, pitch side yeah. access. This is quite cool. We've got two vlogs going on at the same time. Here we go. All right. Oh, two British vloggers with a bunch of German people staring at us. Wow, we're, oh my God, we're here. What the hell? Oh my Lord, this is <laughs> There you go, mate. Pit oh, side. <laughs> wow, this, this is crazy. Out come Berlin. Got the ultras over there. They're the ultras. We're in our seats. Berlin are winning one nil. Yeah. I don't want to take my camera out. You're not really allowed to. So it's almost half time. The score is one all, guys. What do you think of your first German football match? Terrifying, mate. <laughs> we walked through the ultras. We tried to go in the ultras in, and they kicked us out. They want you, you, you. Ow. Yeah, so <laughs> we don't know what to do. I didn't end up vlogging too much at the game because of the, like, it wasn't really a vlogging atmosphere. I felt like they wouldn't have enjoyed me taking my camera out. So uh, that is the reason. But we did watch an insane game, 3-2 in the end, to Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, football Twitter absolutely rinsing me because I said Bayern Leverkusen. But you know what? I mispronounced names, okay? It's fine. The next day. All right, so day two of Berlin. Now we're gonna do a little football challenge with all the icons and the legends, okay? First up, I believe we're gonna have Del Piero, which is absolutely insane. I spoke to him last year, uh, which is quite funny. He now, he now refers to me as Ricky Evans every time. The challenge we're gonna do is a 30 second kick up challenge. How many keep ups can you do in 30 seconds, okay? I'm gonna set the standard now, all right? So we're gonna get a timer out. Three, two, one, go. No. No. Oh. oh, I think there it is. All right, I messed up towards the end, but I believe I counted 73, 74, something like that. So that is my standard set. Hopefully it's a high one. And uh, let's see what the legends can get. Okay, so I'm now joined by Luis Figo. 30 seconds, how many kick-ups can you do? Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. Oh, oh. <laughs> Still 15 seconds to go. Five seconds. Uh, <laughs> yes, and that's it. I think it was 50, 60. <laughs> Let's see guys go. Let's see who's up next. I haven't touched, I haven't touched the ball for now, 15 years now. <laughs> so I was with, um, I was with um, um, Nigel De Jong. I had to do a gig in, uh, I had to do a gig in, 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 uh, in uh, Doha. Yeah. And we had to 
show how to kick a ball. Oh, so I had to kick a ball. So I was out of the 18 yard box and I tried to. <laughs> Try to whip it. Whip it in. Eh? So ball went. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, wait a minute. <laughs> Look, I really have to hit it hard in order to get the net. So it was so unbelievable. Like it was, yeah, it's like, it's like nothing is there. Still got it. There we go. You never lose it. You never lose it. <coughs> okay, so I start the timer? No, you can, uh, you can do whatever you like. <laughs> okay, right. Rude hill it. No, I couldn't reach it. 18 yard box. I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> okay, Ruth Hillett, are you ready? Three, so. two, one, go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. Fifteen seconds. Oh, oh, I see. I put it. Why are you saying every that? time? Every hey, time. Hey, hey. <laughs> time is up. <laughs> the touch is there. So. Oh my God. I didn't know what to do. I think it, yeah. I think it was like thirty. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. It's hard. It's hard to be fair. <laughs> I feel like I feel like I need to have a go at like the not cheating technique because when I was doing it, I was like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. And I'm gonna have a go at the actual keep it ups because I don't reckon my touch is there because they are. Oh, see, the difference is that I was I was cheating like all one foot, all one foot. They were doing right, left, right, left, right, left. You can see the touch. They don't they don't lose their touch. I'm gonna try to do their technique. Ready? I can't do it. Okay, so we're now with Del Piero. We're doing a 30 second kick up challenge. How many kick ups can you do in 30 seconds? Figo. I, I don't know. How many did the Figo? He did about 40. 40? Yeah. Rude did. F f really? And 50. yeah. 50. Yeah, and he, and he dropped, really? and, and he dropped it halfway it? through. He dropped yeah, it halfway through. Right. So in 40 seconds, how many? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds? Yeah. Okay. okay. Who's going to count? I'll count. I'll count. Okay, you count? Okay, I'll do the time. Okay. Yeah. How's it feeling? The ball goes with the shoes as well. Okay, three, two, one, go. Yeah, it's a smart technique. Seconds to go. Four, three, two, one, stop! How many? Eight. Eighty. 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 Oh my god, that's a that's a big record. That, that's that's number one now. Wow. It's hard work, isn't it? It's hard work. It's like, hard. I get so tired doing it. Mate, absolute legend. <laughs> oh no! Can we please just pretend that I'm pointing to him and not trying to shake his hand? I didn't train it before, so I can imagine what happened. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, scores on the doors. Luis Vigo came in at 49, Rude Hullet at 38, and Del Piero taking the number one spot and beating my score with a massive 80. So, Del Piero got he the new record. Good at football. And he beat my record as well. I think I got like, I was in the 70s and he got 80. Really? Yeah. Wow, yeah, he knew exactly how to do it. Yeah, like, he Hullet, looked good doing Hullet it. Hullet and Figo did um, like actual keepy ups, okay. which is actually quite, I, I tried to do it earlier. It's yeah. actually quite hard to do actual keepy ups but, but fast. Obviously you've got to beat the system, right? And oh yeah. You've got he, to get points. He knows the game, he knows how to do fast keepy ups and I can tell they've not lost it. It, it. That's the one thing, they may lose their pace and their stamina or whatever, but they never lose their touch, which is really, really cool. Anyways, we're now uh, done here and we're going to go head to... Oh, I almost squeezed through. Oh, we're going to head to a five guys to grab some food. Joe, out of oh. ten. He's got a lettuce burger. What are we saying? Very good. Very good. Revo, have you had a bite yet? Yeah, it's good. Look at that. Okay, so day three of Berlin. 
Well, this morning we was at a press conference listening to Arsene Wenger, Capello, Rude Hullet, and I believe it was the American World Cup winning coach for the women's team, which was really, really cool. Great listen to that. Now we've come for a bit of sightseeing. Look at this. Checkpoint Charlie. So here we are at Checkpoint Charlie. There you go. <laughs> Luke, you've always wanted to come here. Why don't you explain to the people what Checkpoint Charlie now, is? Now, basically, Checkpoint Charlie, for me, is just another bit of pavement, bit of tarmac. What actually is it, Luke? Well, Checkpoint Charlie is where people used to be able to cross between the east and west of Germany. So it's like a pavement. No, it's a... It's oh. Like oh, my God, no. Oh, my voice cracked. It is almost time to head to the awards. This is me before I get changed. Boom. Wow. We've got Mr. Dapper and Mr. Bond. Do you like... Look how... By the way, I'm with these my shoes I'm wearing, they're like... I've got them ages ago, like FA Cut Special Air Force Ones. They're the same size shoes, man. Checking. And they're, they're just they are a little bit too big. Look, as you can see, then you can see that they've got an FA Cup on them. Only two of a kind, and who is the other one? Me! You do! Right, let's go to the awards. Introducing the third member of the gang. Wow. Wow, that's a very nice seat you got there, Luke, can't lie. The final squad member is here, Joe. Ah, there, there it boys. is. Wait, where do you recognise this suit from? This is the suit you no, took. No, 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 let him comment right now. Oh, I think... Right, so, right, so right now, comment now. Gonna give you five seconds. And yeah, it's the suit I wore. KSI Logan 2, commentating Sky Sports. We're going to say I recognise the Instagram. All right, we're here on the red carpet. We've just done photos. Uh, now we're going to go into the red carpet. There might be a few. Be... Huh? Where's our section? Basically, we're going to go walk the red carpet, look cool, and then hopefully interview some big, big names. So Joe, what are you about to do? All right, so we're about to interview Vladimir Klitschko. Now, obviously he's a massive impact on the sport. Um, champion of years, to be fair. He was like the heavyweight ruler for a long time. So hopefully, get a few words in. Here we are with Vladimir Klitschko. About to sign the wall. And then hopefully, get interviewed by Weller. We're hoping he knows about YouTube boxing, basically. Like, we want to ideally see what he thinks on it, who he thinks. <laughs> You know, should go next, should Weller get back in the ring, you know, should those sort I of things. Should ring? Malfoy get in the ring, that's a big one. Will he be my new coach? Alright guys, so here we are with Vladimir Klitschko. Now, a question I want to ask and you and name? Joe Weller. <laughs> Joe Weller. You heard of it before? Yes, Joe, yes. how you doing? Yeah, all good. So I want to ask you about, do you know anything about YouTube boxing? YouTube boxing? YouTube boxing, like KSI. Okay. Logan Paul? Yeah, yeah, of course. Of have you, course. Have you heard yeah, about yeah, them? Yeah, of course, of course. What did you think about their fight or their two fights? I, I think I think it's good that such crossover yeah. uh, athletes. I mean, this is crossover athlete. Yeah. You know that uh, never really uh, wrestled before, and then boxing, and then something else. So trying out different things, being so disciplined, and actually. Um, Giving good performance, in my opinion, yeah. fantastic performance. So uh, I think it's pretty cool. And are you going to be a wrestler or a, a fighter in the boxing ring, so, or are you going to be a partial jumper, or what else? <laughs> what, what are you? What are you so, looking at? Well, I mean, I did a boxing fight. I did the first YouTube boxing okay. one. Um, now, obviously, it made me realize how much you guys dedicate, and how like you know, okay. incredible it is. And I want to know, do you still train as hard as you, you did when you, were, when you were active boxing now? Do you still train as hard? I work out every day. Every, every day? Every single day. And I feel good about it. Yeah. Can we you work out every day? I mean, I try to, but like, there's certain times when I just don't find, I guess there's That's enough time and stuff. Exactly, That's exactly. And I hate that there's an excuse. So I want to know, how do you always make, like, find time to do it every day? You just manage your time, yeah. put the priorities in line, that's it. Yeah. As simple as it is. So, and consequences. Yeah. If you don't do it, like, if I don't work out, I'll get in a bad mood. Yeah, same. Do you know what bad yeah, mood yeah, looks yeah. like? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> I understand. So if I'm getting in a bad mood, so it's not good. That's why I work out, it's like I'm paying rent for my good mood. Yeah. So no, I, I feel worked that. out, I'm all good. Sometimes I spar, I'm getting an itch, and yeah. I'm getting into a sparring session once in five, six weeks. Yeah. And then, you know, um, you get some, and then, like, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you get bloody nose maybe sometimes. Yeah, it's yeah. just tastes, tastes um, like in the past, you know, back <laughs> yeah, then, yeah. 30 years ago, when it started. And then you give something, and it feels even better. Yeah. So, and then, you know, you shake off, 
you go in the shower and you just you just feel good for another five weeks. Yeah, that's good. Can we expect you back in the ring ever again? Because it's on uh, your channel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's the announcement that is going to happen on your channel, YouTube channel, right? Yep. That's where it's going to be broadcasted. All the fans around the world. I want to tell you, I love you guys. And you know what? Because I love you and because you want to see me in the ring, I'm taking it as a compliment. This question I'm taking as a compliment. If people wouldn't want to see me back in the ring, you wouldn't ask that question. So if you ask that question, I just will need to come back into myself and ask myself, who am I? Who do I need it for? Do I need it for me to come back? No. Do I need to break the jaw? No. But to break the record? Maybe. I was the next record. And I'm just thinking, okay, I'm 43, I'm turning 44, yeah. and I'll be 45, maybe and a half. And there is gonna be George Foreman knocking on my door with his yeah, record, yeah, yeah. saying, like, hey, I was a champion with 45, do you wanna do the same? Is that a motivation? Absolutely. Is it going to happen? I don't know. So let's lean back and see. Okay, well, thank you, mate. Nice one. Yeah, nice one. Enjoy the night. Very good. After the red carpet, we then went into the Laureus Sports Awards for the 20th anniversary, and we managed to see so many incredible athletes and inspiring people win so many awards. It was honestly such a good event. We even saw Liam Payne perform, and then afterwards there was a little party. But this is the end of the video, guys. If you have enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, leave your comments about, you know, what Vladimir Klitschko said, and also who is better out of the three footballers I filmed with, and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye!